What's a no shit moment where you realized you've been doing something the wrong way for years? I owned a light blue colored microwave for about 3 years, that a family member gave me for a housewarming gift. Thought it was cool, never saw a blue microwave before. One night, a buddy asked why I never took the blue plastic wrap off my microwave, then proceeded to peel it off for me. Damn, that bitch is silver. Still miss my blue microwave sometimes though. After moving to a new city I went to the laundromat, and the Korean lady working was yelling at me about something I couldn't understand. After some pantomime it became clear that she was upset I was putting in the wrong detergent, but it was the same kind I have been using for 8 years, since moving away to college, and behind. Turns out I've been washing my clothes with only fabric softener for nearly a decade. They always smelled good so I never really thought about it. Not my proudest moment. My family always had a cup next to the bathroom sink, in case you needed to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth, or maybe get a quick drink of water in the middle of the night. My grandma had the same cup at her house. I used it for years whenever I was thirsty. One day she saw me doing this and said, don't use that cup. That's where grandma puts her teeth. Travel frequently for work and only just noticed that most laptop bags have a strap to place over a rolling suitcase handle, that's what that fucking thing is for. I would probably look like Mega Mind if I learnt as much in school as I do on this app. When I was a kid, I was told that the paper that came on cupcakes muffins was edible. I would spend a decade eating them like this, paper and all, until a friend pointed it out. I would be so terrified of you if I saw you do this. This is the first comment in this thread that's had me laughing out loud for about 30 seconds. Thank you for that. I taught myself how to play clarinet. Six months later someone told me that I'd been playing with the mouthpiece upside down. I used to fill the kettle by the spout. My parents have always done it this way. I thought the center part was mainly for decoration, but not functional. I don't know why I never questioned this. One day I bought a new tea kettle and my husband was like WTF what is inside this, and with great ease, opened the center to pull out a manual with instructions and whatnot. I was drinking dirty paper water for like 2 weeks. I used to pull my pants down all the way at the urinal. I've seen this as an adult in the workforce as a programmer. I weep for our prospects, seen it in the military. Guy pulls his pants all the way down, uses both hands to hold his shirt up and then just let's fly, hands free. Found out I was lighting incense wrong. Boyfriend and I got a bunch to add to our collection of nice smells and we would light them, and they would just start a little inferno. Convinced we were buying cheap, garbage incense we stopped using them. I proceed to buy a different brand in a hope those would work. I test light and same thing it just goes up in an inferno. Roommate informs us you are supposed to blow them out once they catch. Oops. I always thought eggplant tasted itchy, like itchy was a flavor, like sour or salty. Fed some to my baby and his face turned red wherever the eggplant touched, and I realized we're both just allergic to eggplant. And itchy isn't a flavor. One day I used the key fob to remotely start my dad's car. It was a no shit moment for him. Two years, and he didn't realize he had this handy little function. My dad bought an aftermarket remote start and took it in to get installed. When he went to pick it up, they asked him what was wrong with the factory one. I owned a car with swivel headlights and it was very nice to have that. Discovered 3 years in that I had never turned on the swivel feature, oh man. I thought the AC button in my car, snowflake, was defrost so I never used it in summer. Fuck did I feel dumb 2 years. I didn't find out that I was supposed to punch out for lunch until my third job. And even then it was because a co-worker mentioned it in passing that they were clocking out for lunch. That's freaking awesome. I cannot believe none of your bosses did not ever say anything to you. At my first and only full time job I've had they didn't require you to clock out for lunch. They said they just docked 30 minutes off your pay so that you would have more time to get out to the break room. And eat instead of everyone lining up 5 minutes before lunch to try. And hurry out to the break room. Cork guns. Everyone says that you're supposed to pull it towards you, but I saw a Reddit comment saying that they are designed to be pushed away instead. My boss looks at me funny for doing it, but it's exponentially cleaner and tighter. 
edit, quite a few of your la mentioning that you're unclear on what you're pushing away. When you cork you slide the entire gun across the crack that you're sealing. So it's that. You can only ever slide it towards you, or away from you, unless you're going sideways, I guess. And most people pull the entire gun, and tip towards them whereas sliding it in the other direction works too. A few of y'all sound like you know exactly what you're doing, and have added a couple other tips on how to do it cleaner and better, too, so thanks for that. My wife and I have this ceiling fan light in our bedroom and the house we moved into two years ago. It has a remote control for the fan and lights. About a year and a half ago the lights suddenly stopped working. The fan works well, and we didn't have a ton of money so we've just lived with lamps in the room, always being frustrated with how damn dark it is. I was scrolling some other thread on a Skreddit Tifu a few weeks ago, and the top post was a guy talking about how his lights stopped working years ago, and then he found out that it was just dimmed, which you do by holding down the button on the remote. It sounded so much like our fan I went and tried it. Dimmed. Not mine, but my dad has been spelling his name wrong his whole life. He's 51. His name is Jeffrey, and he's been spelling it like that since he learned how to spell his name. A few months ago my mom pulled out his birth certificate, and we all learned it's actually spelled Jeffrey. Not sure if he spells it correctly now, but it was definitely an oh shit moment for him. Living in a foreign country where I was actively learning the language. Social cues go a long way when learning a language on the spot. That being said, someone once said a phrase to me while serving a hot dish, which I assumed does meaning excuse me. After going through crowds and lines, Replicating the same phrase in an attempt to be respectful of those around me, I abruptly found out that the phrase actually meant, enjoy. Hindsight, completely makes sense. The odd lux I would get by saying, enjoy while squeezing past people all of a sudden made sense. Not cause I've been doing something wrong my entire life but saw it wrong. I'm color blind, and my entire life I thought peanut butter was green until I turned 19. And when I found out it was brown my mind was blown. It took so long because no one really talks about the color of things like that. When I was in high school I was talking to a colorblind friend asking the usual dumb questions. Like what color is a green light when you're driving? And he said he knows which light is which even though they all look gray. So I said, oh so Yoda is gray to you then. His horrified expression as he yelled, Yoda is green, was priceless. For years I would struggle to take the cap off new deodorant, the one under the lid. It always is so stuck down onto the deodorant stick. I had an aha moment a year or so ago that I could simply crank the deodorant stick up until the cap could easily be removed. I'm 34. It took me until age 34 to realize this. When I first got a debit card, and would go out to eat at restaurants with my friends. I would leave a cash tip on the table when I got the receipt to put how much I was paying I would write down how much money I left on the table. For at least 6 months I gave double tips to every waitress I had. I did this to a pizza guy once. I gave him a cash tip, and amp. When he gave me the receipt to sign I put down how much cash tip I gave him. He told me, were you giving me more? I was like, is that not how it works he said he'd correct it for me once he got back to the store. I felt pretty embarrassed. I have a flashlight that I've had for near a decade. I originally got it because it really looks like a lightsaber, and it was cheap. Plus you could twist the lens around to focus it, or so I thought. When I got it home and put batteries in it, I found out that twisting the top didn't change the focus. I assumed the top being able to twist was just a result of it being cheap. Fast forward to a month or so ago. A storm picked up during the night so I went out to check nothing was going to blow away. As I was trying to open the gate, the flashlight slipped, and I caught it by the top part that twists, but the rest of the flashlight slid about 2 inches down from the twisty part, and it turns out if you pull the top part up, it turns it into a lantern type thing for lighting up an area, it's nothing big, but there have been times where it would have been incredibly useful to be able to put the torch down and light up a wide area. My mom refused to show me how to use a tampon, because she thought I should stick to pads because they were safer. This was back when googling how to do things wasn't an option, and I was the first in my friend group to get my period, and a little sheepish about it. 
So basically I was shoving that sucker up there with the entire applicator for like 2 years. Wondering why tampons didn't seem to work that well for me. It wasn't until I was in high school, and one of my friends went on a crusade against plastic waste, and started advocating for tampons with no applicators that all of a sudden I realized I had massively fucked up. 